to our sponsors, Sheldon Blue. People ask Harb, how do you get such good hair all the time? Harb, your hair looks so good. How do you do it? Sheldon Blue. Uh, Selson Blue. <laughs> Whatever, fuck it. Something, something blue. Harb Blue. Attack together, we are strong. Whatever, you're fucking... Who was the funny guy back on LA Valiant? Lastro. It was Lastro. Lastro was the funny guy. Oh, I, dude, I have so many screenshots of things Lastro said. So many. So many screenshots. Um, but yeah, um... Who's Tifa? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But... Why is Atlanta coaching so bad? Uh, see, that one we actually have informed opinion about, right? Because Brad, if you've ever talked to Brad or you've ever seen anything about Brad, Brad is Brad should be the general manager of the Atlanta Reign. He would fit that role so well, okay? He would fit. He, he, if he was general manager, I think everyone would be good. He does good. He's scouting. He's sort of that that sort of facing. That'd be great. But he shouldn't be the head coach. He literally just acts as a general manager. And then Legit RC is, has a long-standing history in Overwatch. And one that I don't really want to go into, but I don't really have a ton of respect for him as a coach. And I have it, every time I've talked to a player about him as a coach, it hasn't been good. So that is why a lot of people have rough thoughts about the Atlanta coaching stuff. I could not believe that Legit RC was still a coach for the Atlanta Reign, and he was the only coach under Brad. Oh, that man. was that was shocking to me. Dude, it really was. He's needed, he's needed. You kill him, you kill him. You one hundred percent kill him. Oh he's dead, he's dead. I'm feeling it today, Mr. Krabs. Is, I'm feeling it today. Playing where you run the posy, man. Oh shutter. <laughs> Am I allowed to read this DM, Patrick? I don't know. Is that is that is that a thing I'm allowed to do? Oh my God, you little shitter! Never mind, no thing. We're going forward. Nothing. We're done. Got to wait till next game. Have to wait till next game. Have to wait till next game now. <clears throat> Dude, speaking of when's the last time, oh, guess what God. I had to do today, chat? I tried body blocking. You want is to wait? Uh -huh. Why is he better than me? I switched to Diva. I had to. He's bottom right. right. Oh, okay. Was a huge drop, but we still lost. Yeah. It was actually that huge. Was oh, go Bob! Yeah. Go Bob! Immortal field! Holy fuck! Go <laughs> Bob, do your fucking thing, man! <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna report every single one of you for gameplay sabotage. You fucking don't deserve this game. Literal. Gilbollas! Subnormal! Whenever I have to figure out what I'm gonna watch on Twitch, there is one constant that remains. Well, there's two constants that remain. Clint Stevens won't be live, so he's not an option, and XQC will always be live. Therefore, that one, that one. if I if I if I want to watch the stream, I know at least XQC is gonna fucking be streaming something. Oh gee. Now, this is why I have Florida so high. I have I have more info about OG, and I know OG a little better. I think. OG's never been about his skill. I think on every single hero, he has... I think every single hero he plays mechanically is at a very high level. I think his has always been a either a disagreement or like a, a, a play style difference between a team or a mental block. Um, and this is another one of those hunch moments where I think OG will be a lot better with this full Korean team and Kuki head coaching him. I think OG's going to pound this year. I think, I, again, it's probably a hot take for some people, but I think OG is going to be very, very good this year. Um, it's Him being better this year is why I rate Florida so high, because the core itself, like this, 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 and this, is insane. These two people slotting in, I think, are, be, are both going to perform above expectations. I think Florida is going to be very good this year. It's... <laughs>
Like, Reddit's going to kill you? Listen, it's just the truth. He should not have gotten roll start. KSP should have gotten roll start, and I'll take that to the fucking grave. This guy was insane on the two-week Genji meta, and he... I'm gonna say he, I'm not gonna say he fell off the face of the earth, but he was not nearly as good as he was in the two week Genji meta. That's it. KSP was literally fucking the whole league for a full year, and this guy played Genji good for two weeks, and he got roll star, and KSP didn't. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, I got fucking. What? Uh, what? Yeah, I must have grab here.